Hey guys, Tyrup here, bring you a wonder you on today. We are on Twin Beaches. I have today spawning in the north, we have Umaran Bra playing with Wehrmacht. Go for a double pioneer start into tier one. On the south, we have Wolf. I think Wolf, not Wolfie, I'm not 100% on that though. Playing with the British forces. And, uh, Got a double engineer start here with the uh, section command posters up. In terms of rankings, uh, Umar and Burrow is currently ranked fourth in fact, and Wolfie in the 70s with Brits. So uh, all of these units coming out here, looks like it's going to be a fight for the left hand side fuel in the center of the map. And it quite often is, you know, players can kind of cap their own halves this side quite cleanly and then it's who can win the fight for the central fuel. Engineers do manage to get into heavy cover so they're not getting suppressed but boy are they getting chopped up by that machine gun ultra fast. The pyros go down, sloppy stuff there from Umarin. And the Royal Engineers get away alive. Unreal. Well, engineers are way stronger than the pioneers for sure. I heard the potentially they did get ninja nerfed though. The Royal engineers they used to have like focus fire on the SMGs. Maybe that's not the case anymore. So they don't focus down individual models. So, uh, so just a rumor. Pioneers are reporting. But there we go. Machine gun tries to push in and gets caught out by the section. Decided to get to cut and run in here with the pyres isolated over here. No chance against the Royal Engineers. Interesting that he, you know, charged in there trying to force them away. It's not going to be connected. Capping that point now, but he's already over there. Why not? Hmm, we got a salty one, eh, old Umaran? All right. It's the capture, going to get behind heavy cover. Can be difficult to assault this hill with all the elevation penalties that you experience trying to run up the hill. But you can uh, take cover over here. Not down here though, like cover down here versus up here. It's negated. They are securing our so capture point. is coming in now, provided some MG vision 42. for the MG42. Got a second MG42 popping out and a rebuild on the pyres as well. that he does really want double pyos. Sets up the MG on the reverse direction though, suppresses the squad but they're pretty much at max range so just crawled out and uh, not taking any further damage. Both players now capping up the side. Same order, capping the point before the fuel. But overall, Wolf with a much better fuel control of course having that point for a long time MG sets up and he squeaks around the side of it this MG gonna stay firing at the section the green is gonna come back to assist mm, I don't know about that retreat on the machine gun I think he needed to run back try set it up somewhere to keep drawing some focus fire and allow the green to actually fight back against the section here since they're already so low in health probably not gonna beat the section MG advancing now. I think he lost vision on the section as it was reloading. Stop firing. And now heavy cover versus heavy cover. We're both spitting some suppression on each other, but with the section here, Wolf should win. You're gonna meet on this side of the map. Sloppy stuff from you, Marin. Very slow reactions. And gets punished for it. Squad down. Section does eventually get forced away, but nice flank here by the Royal Engineers. A little bit surprised the pirates didn't see them coming around the corner. Uh, it's a good angle on the machine gun. I don't think he relocated it. it so the Grandies try to come up the short side. Need to go for a wider flank, and again, that's kind of just sloppy. He knew that positioning on the machine gun. He could have checked it because he was firing at his own machine gun for such a long time. Ends up costing him a potential flank there. I'm going to 
set up the Vickers covering the retreat. Try and get a couple models dropped here. Pioneers. So whatever model was targeting, uh, it's pretty high health to start out with, but then ends up taking down two. It's what you want. Cost your opponent some manpower. Getting some sandbags up down here as well. I prefer to try and kind of like squeeze two along here. Just outside of the water, if you are careful. Try and block your opponent from being able to use them as well. At least part of them. Okay, we've got a lock in here, mechanized for you, Myron. And the squad, please get out now with the MG there. I can't recall, but I believe Green Deers do have the capture rate bonus, right? Maybe not, maybe it's just the kitten. Again, Alarm. section Sector camp Obama. back here. Give we are losing target. control of a sector. Sector secured. Everybody still breathing? MG advancing. Sandbags. Sits up right over here. Do you think he's got cover? Looks like it. Looks like that light at least providing three Enemy positions. Greedy's coming in here. Taking a lot of damage. I think they might have been better off just charging into close range there right? rather than trying to back away. Try to force them away as fast as possible so then you can get on with the capping. This is just about the worst thing you could be doing. But he really wants to decap on the fuel. We've got a uh, set of Gurkhas now with the LMGs. There's some nice damage from long range. And here we go again. More engineers coming in on the flank of the machine gun. Gonna force that away. Got the Vickers up there as well. Tries to come in to cap over here, but the MG covering that nicely, and the Green is out to the side here as well, doing some capping. Oh, managed to s squeeze out a smoke just before getting pinned. So should be able to recover from that. Looks like a move onto the cutoff, but with some Panzer Grenadiers arriving, it's not really going to be possible for this section. No sections have been upgraded so far. Smoke eventually wears off, but MG remain in position. Gurkhas have to get out of there. Good little rotation on the machine gun now. Vic is coming down to help battle against the Axis troops over here. Got healing up back here as well. And I think it's going to be a stall for the 8 round now. It's already locked into it. Just needs the manpower. The lost pioneer having to rebuild that, I think, what's causing the issue here. Did get a mine down on that sandbag there. Sandbag uh, durable enough to survive that. Two models down. One engineer is coming in from the side. And just the three of them enough to force that away. Could get some wire up on those sandbags while the engineers are there. These engineers getting forced away on the far edge as well. Do have the mid tent up. Looks like a double click build on the base from Wolf. Doesn't manually plant those buildings towards the edge of the sectors. We have lost control of a victory point. There's a little bit of danger, should survive, but force forced back. Section's trying to come up the hill. But yeah, a nice early retreat on that. Maybe worry about the grenades in the retreat path. Could still be an option here though. Retreats around this side rather than around the back. No attempt of it. Don't know what the munitions is on uh, Wolf. And here is that 8 rad definitely uh, quite late for you, Myron. Mistimed this. Should have been out uh, probably about two minutes ago-ish. So, yeah. Definitely uh, the manpower situation not too good for you, Myron. 
here goes the Vickers. Do have the platoon command down, but has not side ticked to the Stuart. So I expect uh, that would not happen. You gotta be very careful about staying in here for a long time, the eight rad. Rather lethal, as you can see here, jams the capture with the uh, raid package. Sandbags, in good order, you slobs. Do of course have the option of going for some AT rifles. Oh, there's a squad of foot guards out already. AT rifles do have less utility now that their range has been nerfed compared to bazookas. Used to have a purpose, you know. But now that they've got the same range as bazookas, might as well go for the foot guards. They're scaling. And look at those Vickers. Oh, Bren rather, Bren Gurk has got to work. Because is coming in from the side here, but gets pinned itself. We've got a mine up here. That cover position utilized heavily by Wolf so far, so it's a good idea. Do have a sweeper though on the Royal Engineers. Got another shoe mine coming up. P Green's capping out to the side and the uh, it rad has had big impact on the map. Sector now under Not much territory control. control at the moment for Wolf. Interrupts the mine planting. Sweepers coming out here, see that. Oh, in fact, he's gone double sweepers, that's interesting. The squad gonna detect but get suppressed and forced away. Foot guards out to the side, so they're not in position to really fight back against this 8 rod and this royal uh, section rather. Out in the open, not doing too well. He's gone for double AT rifles, connecting on 8 rod. Quite a few shots. It's quite a lot of damage. The green is behind cover though, they're working well. Close to Vet 2 now. Charging in with the section. Gurkha's doing well on the side. Sprint away from the grenade. Easy dodge. And oh, we've got a Matilda up here now. The T-Gun gets one shot off on it. Got a uh, skin on that Matilda, it looks like. Getting a few good hits in. Oh, could even be a Deeker on the machine gun here. Second anti-tank gun in reaction to that by Umarin. Pretty good timing on the Matilda though. It's off that strong start, good control on the hill fuel. Up until the 8 rag came out. Contributing to that. Not going for any of the side ticks either. Park deployed. Looks like eventually the foot guards did get forced off that side of the map. Guaranteed to hit the Matilda, such a big target. With the new uh, anti-tank gun accuracy values. The enemy have taken our territory. Mm, looks like this CT gun failed to set up here. This can happen sometimes. It's quite annoying. Seems to be if the rest of the crew kind of takes cover. And then it kind of blocks the gunner from taking cover, and then the gunner just runs around like an idiot. Should be addressed at some stage, I hope. Guards getting out of there. Didn't get much done with their grenades. Nice heavy cover position for the section, doing big damage to the 8 rod. Not really the position it needs to be in, needs to be up to the side. Shutting down this Gurkha flank. 
MG tries to set up again. Eight Rod's coming back in. This is pinned now, so it's quite safe to come in. But he's just going to extract himself from that position altogether. DP's still quite even between the two teams. Eight Rod has veterancy now. He's got the signal detection. Quite a big area on that, honestly. Strong hit one. He's gone for the fuel seizure bonus now as well. Squeezing out a little bit of extra fuel every time he caps a point, which he did down here. Should be a pretty big feature of my old uh, Werble heavy style. Extra 5 or 10 fuel in the early game helped you uh, rush it out quite a bit earlier. Hit Rod meanwhile getting busy on the far side away from the Matilda. 90 tank guns over here and I don't think there actually is one at all for Wolf just relying on AT rifles at this stage the double AT guns trying to come down here but they run right into some artillery oh no decrease one of them the other one's still alive I think that's zeroing artillery coming back in return Quick reaction from Wolf though. And gets out of there. Oh, recruits the AT gun, but just as soon as that happens, it gets decrewed again. And now trying to hide with the Matilda around the corner while he kills off the decrewed weapon in the pack. Finds an angle. But the Matilda has not missed a shot on the pack so far. And just bops it off like that. Here comes a second Matilda now. And you Myron's in some major trouble. Eight Rat fast enough to get out of there. Matilda popping smoke. Trying to avoid any damage. Both of them in fact. Might have been a misclick. Had them in the same control group. Don't know if it was necessary on this. But why not? Rebuild on the AT gun now for you, Murray. He's got quite a lot of fuel, actually. Could just about afford to tick up and go for a Panzer IV. Now Victory point lost. Choosing a, a more immediate option, though, with the second AT gun. Has not really established a good amount of mines which can really help shut down these Matildas, in spite of having double pioneers. And a decent chunk of munitions. Not much else to spin the munis on, you know, using 200 on zeroing artillery. Better investment would be a bunch more mines, I think. Forcing away the Brit troops from this side of the map. Could be a time to try and just ignore this whole area. And try and focus down this lane where you can kind of position your anti-tank guns. To shut down attempts from like, the entire area. They are hammering trying to spread us. himself maybe winning. a little bit too thin at the moment. By trying to control this whole section. Are so much side-to-side -side movement required from the AT guns. It's hard to get that to work. Maybe occasionally sending the 8-rat out to the side. While you know where the Matildas are. To do some harass on this area. Since they're so slow. No trouble rotating. AT rifles getting a couple shots in. Here comes the Matilda, but the AT guns are here, both of them. And he has one green deer in the vicinity. But he's not making any attempts to get over there. Bounces one shot there. Wouldn't have been the kill shot anyway. And the Matilda on the other side of the map working well. Could be pushing in a little bit more aggressively as well with that. But yeah, the sweepers from Wolf for uh, making sure these Matildas are safe. A lot of repairs required now though for this vehicle. Try to going to spot that there with the detection mode. I was forced to wait. I'm just leaving this machine gun camped covering the VP and fuel area. Wolf definitely should be getting more active with the other Matilda. 
Heck right. Locking down that VP. Still very close on the victory points. Interesting that I didn't. Reveals both vehicles and infantry. Such a large area. Seems uh, <laughs> a lot more powerful than what we had in Code 2. If you remember the signal detection on the uh, 221, when you see vehicles, and probably at a shorter range as well. Two AT rifle squads come out to the site. Should be able to handle the Akrad. The Matilda back healthy again and pushing on all areas. Just got a little bit further forward there. Triple anti tank guns. Artillery coming down. Fast retreats. Got some artillery in return from the Brit player. Oof, a little bit of uh, collateral damage up to the side here, catching these two sections, but the 8 rod wasn't getting paid attention to. That just goes down to AT rifle fire. Too focused on dodging with the triple AT guns. And now the Matilda getting busy on the other side of the map. Also going the machine gun. And that's a third Matilda now. It's kind of a critical mess. Without engine crits, these are going to be very hard to shut down. Does have Panzer Company down, can start up a Panzer IV. But these Matildas coming in for a bit of a base inspection even. Catching one AT gun as it's backing away. Matilda's gun does seem to be pretty effective. In terms of like accuracy on the move. In AOE against infantry. It's the decrew on one, Pi's trying to jump back on it. The uh, double Matilda's just going to town here in the uh, Wehrmacht base, continuously decrewing and killing these AT guns. Now trying to finish off the decrew weapon, jumps back on it just before, but quickly decrewed again. And I think he lost his pioneers doing that. Here come the Grenadiers, trying to go for a Faust perhaps. Where's the Faust? And the AT guns just get decrewed as soon as they get recruited. Time and time again, the double Matildas just going to town here. Panzer IV popping out though. Where are these Fausts at? There it is. Panzer Faust. Gonna be one Matilda going down, but triple AT guns all dead. There was one back here as well. That one also getting finished off by the Matilda before it backed away. Got a second Matilda. Could get in to help if it's needed. That was a daring move by Wolf. Going into the base like that often disastrous but just continuously getting great hits on the AT gun as soon as it got recruit. And that's the impact of the gun shield. You know, gun shield's not really functioning against explosives. Because, you know, if the explosive lands slightly behind the gun shield, it nullifies the cover. So they're just not effective for, against Enemy tanks like that. And that's the impact point. of it. Quite easy if you're constantly, like, recrewing it. It's at two models to just decrew it again before it gets a shot off. Impact of the uh, explosives versus cover change. I talked about in my video a couple weeks ago. He greens up to the side here, going down to the Gurkhas. Throwing up smoke for some reason. Maybe worried about a machine gun rolling up. Double Matilda's coming in from the side on the Panzer IV here. The enemy has taken a victory. Boom, boom. Boom, boom, miss, miss. And the Panzer IV is a little bit too fast. Oh, but a little bit of a hesitation there. Keeps the Matildas in range, but they just can't quite get the kill. 20 HP remaining. Throws off a Faust there, but it's not enough health damage for the engine crit, so it's not very useful, honestly. Do have access to the Panther in this commander, which is uh, the best answer to the Matilda. 
completely dumpsters it. It stands no chance, Panther, with 160 damage per shot. Big accuracy, big speed, big armor on the front. Schools, Matilda, you really need a 17 pounder against it, honestly. Very hard to beat otherwise. But uh, yeah, I wasn't really paying too close attention to the command point allocation when the Panther was available versus going for the tech up into Panzer IV. Maybe could have skipped putting points into Zering artillery, forcing them all into the Panther, got that out in time to answer this Matilda rush. Would have probably been the better option with these no tech Gorlins being the dominant strategy at the moment in Co 3. Marana has a lot of resources. Looks like he's stalling up for that Panther. 100 man power to go. And that should allow a bit of a comeback, honestly. We still do have a few squads with the AT rifles. Are the foot guards still alive? Take a quick look at Wolf. Yeah, he's still got the foot guards. They don't have any veterancy, though. We are losing ground. The enemy has the lead. But a few mines could be pretty good for Wolf at this stage. We have 300 the double remaining. engineers. Got a sweeper out, but Panther is quite likely to go diving in after these Matildas at some stage. MG wasn't behind cover down here, so getting overwhelmed frontally there. Okay, so double tanks coming out to the side. Two Matildas over here. This could be a good start to the comeback for you, Myron. Still has plenty of VPs to work with, by the way. So, uh, easy time. Easy opportunity to make this comeback. Coming around this side. A couple AT rifle sections here. I wonder if they've got the AT nades. Some artillery getting dropped down back here as well. From the rip player. We have lost control of a victory point. Matilda, one shot here. Panther out of range, not going for the attack rounds. He's got the smoke out. Machine gun needs to retreat. Attack round missing its mark. I think a section going down there. Panther not on hold fired. Start switching directions. Oh, this could be disastrous. Yeah, misses that attack round. Attack round's quite wonky, even with slight elevation changes. It's not working out here at all. <laughs> oh my god. Has to fight for so long to get that kill. If this squad had snares, probably could have got an engine crit off here, but here comes another Matilda and the foot guards from the side. Panther's now a little stranded. He's using the vet ability on the panther, and it's dead. Yeah, I mean, there's it's it's just this game firing into smoke with attack rounds is just nowhere near as good as it was in Co. Two. The elevation of the projectiles, something's going on. He's, he's salty one and he's quit yeah I mean the potential was there for the comeback but uh, not very good execution in all honesty I didn't even see the Panzer IV go down looks like it went down all the way back here to a flanking Matilda perhaps and those foot guards so yeah pretty bad execution from you Myron right from the start losing the Pios and uh they kind of set his whole strategy off kilter. You know, didn't have the manpower to go for the 8 rat when it was time to call that in. I don't know why he went for double pyro, like the pyro rebuild. Anyway, doesn't seem like that critical in his strategy. The uh, MG positioning, a little bit lackluster. You know, the flanks, you know, there was the machine gun here. He could have flanked it. He knew where it was set up because it was firing at his machine gun. And he just ran up this avenue and got suppressed by it. These little details ultimately costing uh, Yumaran control all over the map. But you know, a pretty sound game from uh, Wolf. Good fight for the hill, winning that comfortably. 
and managing to nullify a lot of the damage from 8 route. Allowing for a pretty smooth tech up to company command and starting to spam those Matildas. And yeah, as I said, New Marin, slow to get that Panther out with the option to go for Zering artillery. Maybe the munitions would have been better spent on a lot more mines, grenade usage on the Pegrins and the uh, Grenadiers. Because uh, Wolf was really fast on the Zering artillery dodges. This is a pretty strong strike, but Wolf was uh, very quick on the dodge. Well, anyway, guys, a wrap on that. If you like, you're going to be cast by me. Details are in the video description below. Otherwise, I'll catch you all for the next thrilling installment. Goodbye and good luck.